Knowledge, my dear brothers, Allahu Akbar, by in our community, this is where we're going through a crisis. <coughs> Subhanallah. We're going through a crisis, and this ties into the subject, this second part of the hadith. How does it tie in? Because when you and I think of education for our children, we are, what are we thinking of? Generally, majority of us, we're thinking on a worldly line. Ke bhai, bachche ko MA hasil karna chahiye, PhD hasil karna chahiye, bachelor's hasil karna chahiye, BCom, X, Y, and Z, they should do, which in its place is, Tiga, we need this as well. But then do we deny them completely the Islamic side just in the hope that they're going to get these extra degrees? Malukya <laughs> subhanallah, one youngster we come across. And we don't like to talk about the ills of people and we don't like to talk about the negative things. But for us it should serve as a reminder and an eye-opener that let it not be that we fall into this trap as well. Where they were having a big function for their son. MashaAllah, puttar janab, MashaAllah, PhD, farik do iga janab. And MashaAllah, we're having this big, big gathering. And the brother, one of the brothers came to me and said, um, I just thought I would tell you, I'll 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 tell you. These were his words, not mine. He said, I can swear a qasam that this individual doesn't even know Surah Fatiha. Now the parents have no fikr for that, but their fikr is what? That in some way we make our son shine in the world, and then alhamdulillah the world is his, at his disposal. But what happened to his dini? So yes, okay, let's just assume for a minute he inherits the wealth of the world. But the, at the cost of what? Losing Iman, weakness of Iman, on the khawf that perhaps this person may die without Iman. How many of us have sat down with our children and said, Beta, you're going to die tomorrow. What, you, what face are you going to show on, show on the day of Qiyamah? Have we ever sat down with our children? People say, no, no, this is a gloomy subject. Gloomy. Oh, who is gloomy? But yeah, hakikat de, we're musafir here. There's no gloominess in Islam. Th these are realities, Allahu Akbar. If we don't remind ourselves that this is a musafir khana, we will get stuck in this. But this is the fikr generally. This is the fikr generally amongst people. Ke bhai kisi tarah taalim hasil ho and earn money and business. I'll say for the third time, me iska mukhalif nahi hu Allahu Akbar. Lekin balance rakhu Allahu Akbar. Have the best of both, but let it not be where we give so much to our children on this line that we completely neglect their Islamic line. Or what we do is we send our children to the madrasa, they simply just finish one khatam of Quran, we snatch the child out, throw them full speed into the dunya, and after five years we come back to the same Malana and say, Malana, help us, we're in a crisis. How many times I've been through this personally myself? And it saddens us, it brings tears to our eyes. Okay, we're not. Not everyone has to become a Maulana, not everyone has to become a Mufti, not everyone has to become a Shaykh al Hadith or a Mufassir or anything. Come, si come, yaar, make sure your children are Muslim. Make sure there's Iman, Fiza of Iman within the home. Come, si come, make sure there's Qal Allah and Qal Rasul at home. Make sure there's Salah at home. But the parents are also culprits. They'll wake their child up in the morning and say, Putr, get up, time for school, 7 o'clock. Oh, Jana doesn't even pray namaz. You didn't even tell him to pray two rakats. So where was the, why did you say to him, by pray namaz as well? That should have been why you woke him up for. That should have been why you woke her up. Okay, get up, pray salah first, and then you go and worry about your school. But ulta, wake up for school, and then chalo, you can squeeze two rakat in, chalo, bhi padlo, chalo, shabash. What have we given ahmiya to? If you just turn it around a little bit, and this is what ulama say, dekho, we all have to adopt asbab, right? We're living in the world of asbab. There's two ways how to do it. One is that you say to the child, look, let's think of a hypothetical scenario. You, a, a family has two to three children, whatever, four children. But I'm just giving a stereotype example, or you can say a general example. A house has three or four kids and one of the children becomes ill. Instead of rushing straight for the cabinet where the medicine is or the phone call to the doctor or the GP or the local pharmacist, say to the children, Shifa is in the hands of Allah. Allah se hoga. Pray two rakats, we will make dua, and inshallah, then we, as a part of the sunnah, we will go to the asbab as well. Har halat me, you have to go to the doctor anyway because the condition is bad. But in the first example, iman is being made, in the second one, is iman, is, is, iman is being snatched. In the first, it's just, if you make that intizam where you are making the dua, make, encouraging the family, make dua to Allah, here's a few pence, give some sadaqah. When you're walking in the streets, hey, give this pound, give two pounds. How about saying to them, have a box at home? This is the sadaqah box. I gave you a five pound allowance, a ten pound allowance. Kabi thoradalti karo, ten p, five p, jo bhi ho. But get that encouragement started so they also know this is something important too. You can be a main instrument in bringing your children into deen through these small gestures. 
So they call in that example the child's iman is made in the second one. Straight away when the child is ill, pick up the phone, go to the pharmacist, go to the doctor, blah blah. That iman is not being made, rather that person is thinking in the back of his mind, okay, what does medicine does? What does doctor does? What does pharmacist does? And no concept, no tasawwur about deen or Islam in, the, in, the, in, the, in, any, in that example. As parents, we can have such a pivotal role in building the iman of this child, in building the deen of this child.